time, boys. I realize that this isn't normal, but extenuating circumstances. Don't worry. He's behind three inches of reinforced laminate. We'll be right here if you need us. <gasps> Miss Dinkley! I didn't expect to see you again so soon. So you know who I am now, Dr. Crane. I may be the 53rd most infamous supervillain in the world, but I'm still fairly resourceful. You weren't in Crystal Cove to attack Elvira, were you? What makes you think that? Motive. You don't seem like a crazed fan, and you recently escaped from Arkham Asylum. Why risk your freedom to attack a celebrity at a high-profile event? Need I remind you that I am quite mad? I am also a fan of Elvira. I did write her a fan mail, <laughs> so technically I am both crazed and a fan. <laughs> but you are correct. I had no plans to attack Elvira or to do anything tonight other than watch the Halloween parade. You said we were in a trap together. I thought that maybe you were speaking figuratively, but you weren't, were you? Tell me. Are you frightened yet? No. <laughs> you said that fear was an irrational reaction. You are incorrect. Fear is ancient, primordial. Fear knows the answer before you do, Ms. Dinkley. So, yes, I was speaking figuratively, but we are also both in a very literal trap as I'm sure you've surmised based on the nature of this unusually desperate little visit. But dude, who would be out to get the Scarecrow and the Scooby Gang? It's true that we do not seem to have anything in common, but logic dictates that there must be a link. Someone went to a great deal of effort to track me down and to lead you to me. Do you think this is all linked to the jack-o'-lanterns? The what? 